This is the new Citan. And this is the hot film airflow sensor. To get access to it, you need to remove the air filter casing, the control unit CDI, and the battery box with battery. Let's start at the beginning with the battery. Open the hood and put on the fender covers. Disconnect the ground line, then pull the bleed hose up and out. Now disconnect both connectors and release the brackets. Then undo the clamping screw and put the plus terminal unit with the fuse carrier to the side. Now you get access to the battery holder. A screw is hidden here. Once removed, you can take the battery holder out. Now put on your protective clothing as you have to deal with the battery. Remove it. The battery box is secured with five screws which you undo. The cables attached to the battery box must also go, so cut the cable ties. And now up onto the lift. But beware, don't place the bearing surfaces too far to the side. Instead, stagger them in a few centimeters and this avoids damage. Once the vehicle is raised, you get access to the drain hose. Remove it from its mountings. Upon reinstallation, make sure that the hose is installed correctly. Let the car down again. The drain hose is free. Now you can easily remove the battery box with the hose. Continue with the control unit CDI. Remove the three connectors on the side, then the bracket on the back, and then take out the control unit. Now to the air filter casing. Remove the rubber seal and the cover. Behind this are two screws on the water collector. Remove them. Now undo the clip. Then the front portion of the water collector can come out. The air intake pipe is next. Unplug the connector and remove the wiring harness. Loosen the clamp and remove the air intake pipe. Then the air filter casing. And this is where the hot film airflow sensor is located. It's attached with two screws. The installation of the hot film airflow sensor takes place in the reverse order.